Hello. Welcome to Card Night. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Leo weekly money and career reading from July 31st to August 6th, 2023. Leos, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Money and career, July 31st to August 6th for the sign of Leos. Thank you, Leos. Thank you to each and every one for watching, for sharing your energies, your journeys. Thank you. Here we go, Leos. Let's see what energies. Ooh, the devil and the hierophant. Just make sure I have this. There we go. Um. Wow. Well, are you making something official? Are you are you getting married? Here we go. Leo, what is happening? Now, these are money and careers, right? So I usually read money and career. But if there is a subtext or an underlining of, you know, of uh, love energy or connection or emotional connection in that way, if, because it feels like here you're finding clarity with someone speaking your truth, having honest conversations. Well, so we have the devil here, which is the passion, um, can be, can be a little, um, codependent. And maybe that is what you are trying to, dis trying to discuss or trying to understand, understand what this connection is. Now, this doesn't have to be um, about, um, an emotional connection or a love relationship. This can be just about a connection, family, friends, coworker, boss, professional environment. It can be anything. This just, with this devil here, I just feel like it is, um, someone here with this queen of swords and air sign uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, that is, so I'm reading this both ways. Either someone is trying to overpower you or overpower the situation, trying to, uh, manipulate, manipulate a subject, uh, manipulate a situation or a person right? With this devil. Doesn't have to be that. Can also be passion. But here it feels like you want, with the Hierophant, you want to make this official or you want clarity, understanding in this situation, whether it be um, a dynamic in a relationship or a dynamic in a um, an emotional situation, friends, family, work, it'll be different for everyone. But with this Queen of Swords here, you want the truth. You want, yes, and you're imposing, you're pushing. So either you are or the other person is imposing their point of view their situation, um, a little impatiently, they don't want to wait. It's sort of like, uh, I, this is the way I see it. This is what I want. This is how I want us to move forward. And if it's a professional situation and it's sort of imposing the law, imposing the rules and the regulations in the job, in the situation, it, but it is with a connection with a person. Now it can be with um, a company that you really enjoy working with, a group of people, um, a team, right? That some people you've been working with for a while, but it feels like here you're a little impatient and you want to figure out exactly what's going on here. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's pull some more cards to see what's going on here. Leo. Uh, I, for some reason, this devil, I'm reading it in a powerful, 
a little manipulative way. Let's see. Let's see what. Leo, weekly, money and career, July 31st, August 6th, 2023. Uh, uh, I don't know about all these. Okay, so let's see. These cards are very slippery, so it's important to understand that not everything is for us. I'm going to put these aside, and I will see in a minute if I'm going to take these. All right, here we go. So, put these back in order. Yes, I'm in a different environment myself, so I just have to make sure you can see this properly right yeah there we go there we go okay so we have the tower yeah there's something there there's a dynamic there that really that you don't want to deal with or that's really waking you up and making you understand you have to do something differently you have to see the position differently, see things differently. Yes, you have, you have the hangman, right? Taking a step back, taking a moment, understanding not to rush this. This is a situation where you want the truth, Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords speaks her truth. And, and so if this is you, you want the truth or you're explaining the truth. And if it's not you, this is someone else that is really clear on their objectives, that's really clear on how things are going to happen, how, you know, what the rules and regulations are within this subject, business, job, right? Whatever it means for you. Because between the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords, there's, there's imposing a state of mind or imposing rules, imposing ideas or imposing ways to push things forward push things forwards or to make things happen. Yes, you have the the um the high priestess and the ace of pentacles. Wow. Okay. So there's a whole revolution here. Look at this. 1 2 3 4 5 5 major arcana and an ace. Okay. So this I mean, it really feels like all of a sudden there's a discussion here. All right, here's how I read it. Um, take it as it resonates. It might be different for you. But here we are um, in a situation, let's say you're in a job working with a group of people or in your business or in a company, right? And there is one person, very manipulative, very, it doesn't have to be toxic, but someone very, um, you know, overpowering. So this can be a boss, this can be a manager, this can be someone you're working with, right? And this person here is very, very structured in their point of view, very, very structured in their ways of dealing with business or managing or ruling whatever it is they have to rule we don't have the emperor i'm surprised uh, but this is something this is a true connection that you've had right maybe you've been working on this maybe this is a partnership right a business partnership or maybe this is a person you've been working with on a project on a business or in a job but there seems to be something there where someone is, right, either a codependency, and that can be in a job as well, or, you know, someone that needs to know exactly what's going on and how we're going to push forward or how it's not working unless we change things. But someone wants to impose their ways. And you, Leo, are taking a step back, understanding that, oh, okay, so if it's you, if you're ruling, if you have the power, if you think you're going to be the boss of me, that's the way I'm reading it, then I need to rethink this and see how I'm going to push forward in this situation. Because um, there is a movement forward. There's a movement forward with understanding with the high priestess. The high priestess is all about a period of, understanding a period of sort of digesting 
and then taking the time to reflect, to profoundly understand uh, uh, your ideas and develop projects and sort of invest in projects in more serenity, more security. And that's when we have the Ace of Pentacles. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. So I think that you are pushing in a different direction here with this hangman and but it acts it this is happening pretty fast once you realize that this is either not working for you or you want to do it in a different way with this tower you're rebuilding you're rebuilding something new you have an offer here you have finances coming in or money coming in or job offer or business offer and i don't think it's the same one as this one and you're acting quickly here it's like action forward here comes the change leo with this and and you're growing into something else it seems like you want to develop something else or you want to work on something else or this and and this ace of pentacles can be a new job let me see what this yes okay so i have these three other cards where i, I wasn't sure but here we have the three of swords so clearly this is a partnership or a job, or something you were working on, or your business, or something that is ending to start your own or start another project here, an idea clearly that you have worked on with this high priestess that you've been thinking of developing and you, you know, probably something you've been, you've had on your mind for a while, but it is a different direction with the hangman. You're seeing things differently after this goes south comment down below. Let me know where you stand on your journey. Let me know what uh, this is all about, if you connect with it. And, um, or, or if you don't feel like uh, sharing, like I say in every reading, not everybody wants to share their life stories on these platforms. Just put a heart down below. Let me know you connected with these energies. All right. So because we have the tower, so clearly you're changing and you're rebuilding from scratch your idea, your idea. And yes, and we have the Wheel of Fortune and the and the Four of Wands, which is tells me that you're celebrating, you're celebrating being in the right place, making the right choice with your family, with your friends. Maybe you're celebrating with them. It doesn't mean you're working with them. It doesn't mean you're starting a business with them, although maybe you are. It's possible. But uh, you're just happy uh, that you're in the right place. You're in the right space. Once you make that decision to turn around and do your own thing or turn around, develop that idea that you've had on your mind, then, you know, you're happy with that. You're good with that. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune, which just confirms that you're in the right direction, right? That dynamic, that new dynamic, that new, like, it's almost like all of a sudden action forward and it's, it's taking another speed, with the eight of um the eight of wands and the wheel of fortune a whole new direction here and much more fast paced right it's movement forward and this is really the chance to turn um your idea into reality and uh, the really beautiful opportunities to uh, move into and it's really the it's really the moment to move forward on this new job or idea it's really the moment to develop it because with the wheel of fortune that just means that this energy is moving forward moving forward in the right direction in a positive direction with you know synchronous synchronicities popping in good karma uh, good luck popping in right really positive positive energies moving forward um it's it's I think that it is the right thing to do if you are switching, moving, starting new, connecting with new, uh, leaving something behind, no matter what with the tower, right? That is some sort of confirming that you're building something else. All right, Leo, apologies for the light. I am in a different place. Apologies if it's not the same lighting. Uh, all right, let's see if there are a couple more cards in 
this deck, Leo, for this weekly July 31st to August 6th, 2023. Money and career. See if we can get any more energies. Oh, way too many cards or no? Okay, no. There we go. So let's see what we have underlying here. Sorry, I just want to put these cards back. Seven of Cups, yes, you have to make a choice. I think you have different options here, clearly, once you decide you're going in a different direction or you want to build your own thing or, you know, it's time, it's time, you, you, you do have different options. You are weighing different options, but I think... Mm, this seven of this seven of um of cups is almost I'm almost feeling that these options you had them before and you chose this one which is sort of going south or just not you're not connecting or it it really feels like you're just not seeing the same way right not seeing the way to uh, manage an idea or to build uh, build something, whatever it is that you were doing with this partnership or in that job, nah, you're just not, you're not understanding and not able to connect with that person that is very overpowering. Um, and I feel like this Seven of Cups was at the moment you chose that and you had other options and now you're going into another option. That's what it feels like. Yes, and you have the four pentacles. So you've saved your money, but with pride, you know, you also feel like you're right or, you know, you're the one that you wanted to make sure that you're the one that not had the power because I feel like they're about power and you're about what well, was my idea, right? You're very protective. It was my idea. Maybe you invested more money than they did in the uh, situation and you're sort of really on the defense like, okay, well, I deserve my money. I deserve whatever I did, right, to collect anything I did or, you know, reap the fruits of my labor, whatever I did in that, I deserve that. I deserve my money. I deserve what, uh, you know, all the effort that I, all the money that, for the effort that I did. Because the, the four of pentacles is, yes, man managing finances, saving up money, but a little bit on the, on the defense, right? On the me, 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 I want, I want, you know, I, I deserve, I deserve this and I'm going to keep it to myself. So that can be that person as well that you're dealing with, right? The me, me, me overpowering and I deserve everything and I want the money, the power and everything. Yes, and you're, so there you go. You're moving in a different, <laughs> it's clear, it's clear. Clear in your mind, clear in the new direction, and clear that it's a new adventure. Probably not something you expected, probably not something you expected maybe at this moment or that soon, and, and, and really you want, you just want out. You just want out for another adventure, another job, moving into something else. You do have an offer here or you do have finances coming in here and you are working on something and you have been working on something. But maybe uh, this is not something you were thinking of developing right away or thinking of going into right away. You probably thought it was going to be down the road sometime. So now here we are with the fool, a whole new adventure, but you don't know, you don't really know what this is going to be all about, right? Because the fool is all about excitement um, and, you know, exciting, new spirit, um, a new dynamic, uh, but it's also being a little confused because you're going on a different adventure. You're starting something completely new, but also maybe you could be um, just looking for something else, a bit confused and, and just maybe just wanting to, it's more, it feels more, sorry, it feels more like wanting to move away from something more than being 
ultra organized and having prepared for this new adventure. Now, I think you do have a subject and you do have an idea you're, you're developing or you know what it is, but I think you weren't quite ready. But okay, it's becoming clear that you're shifting in a new direction. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road. Leo weekly money and career July 30th to August 6th I cannot believe we're already in August I hope you are all having a great summer if it is summer where you are all right let's see if there's one last message for the road Leo's well there we go ace of swords it is a complete new direction. Just confirmation of that new direction. Um, and for the good, you know, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So I think this is all going to go into a beautiful direction and just sort of sink in um, in a great way. Connecting with the right people, finding the solutions, the logistics. You have the money coming in. It's just not completely expected or maybe rushed because you know you have to start something new because that that thing there is not working out i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did thank you so much for watching leo please comment down below let me know where you stand in your energy let me know if you connected with this reading again have a great summer wherever you are if you're celebrating summer thank you so much for watching have a great week leo take care Bye-bye.